Well, hello guys, MazingLayer123 here. This time we'll be taking a look at the biggest 2015 Legends of Chima set. And as you can see, this is the T Tigers Mobile Command set 70224, ages 8 to 14. It includes six minifigures. We have Eris in her Firewing Harness, Tazar, Trakor, Breezor, the first and only ever beaver, Surfangar, and Cybress. In front we can also see we can enter Fire Chief Power Mode. And then on that, we have got all the features of the set, and of course the collectible Firewing Harness, which this time we have Eris, and of course Bloodrick, Rogon, Laval, and Kraga are coming soon. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this okay, set. Okay, and there is your Tiger's Mobile Command, and as you can see, the set is really, really big. And surprisingly, this set only has one instruction book, and as you can see, the instruction book is the exact same thickness as the one from the Lonely Mountain set, and they are exactly the same, where, as you can see, bends around there like that. So we'll quickly take a look at it. As you can see, we get straight into the build, and the clawbacks are really built very similar to the ones in the Lion Chi Temple. And just something to note, uh, when you get to bag two, you will also open bag three, because bag three is really, really small, and yeah, just builds something, the part of the mobile command. So we'll just get to the back. There isn't as many advertisements as some of these sets have, but there is still some advertisements to sh worth showing. As you can see, we've got an advertisement for all four tri packs this set and Ice Bites Claw Driller, which I have all of those. And the Ultimate Battle for Chima again with Ice Bites Claw Driller shown there. So, obviously, this is like the main set advertised to go up against the Ice Bites Claw Driller because they are the two main 2015 showcase sets. And then, as you can see, we have all the minifigures here, which I have actually got all of the heroes. And the only reason I have Blinks is because you, all you have to do is put big wings on him. And then I have got all of the villain minifigures for the first wave of 2015. And then on the back you can see the win. So now let's uh, take a look at the Tiger Mobile Commander. We'll start by taking a look at the minifigures first. And we will start by taking a look at Firewing Harness Eris. As you can see, she has got the Firewing Harness of course with the exclusive eagle print. And the actual piece is exactly the same as the other Firewing Harnesses. And of course the Firewings themselves are really really cool. I really like those Firewings. And her weapon is also pretty cool. As you can see, it is a double-bladed eagle axe with fire in the middle and fire cheat on these little pieces here as well. And then, as for the torso and leg detailing, it is the same as the Eris from 2014, well, summer 2014. And as you can see, torso detailing there and the back detailing. And then her head piece, her face is exactly the same as 2013 Eris. And then, the headpiece has the same red crown piece as the Summer 2014 Eris. And then of course there is a look at the fire wings and the harness on its own. Which I think these harnesses are really really cool. And it's definitely pretty cool that we get to collect them. So we can make our own great illuminations. So that is Eris. And next up we shall take a look at the one of probably the main drawers of this set. Which is going to draw a lot of people to it. And this is the exclusive beaver minifigure. This is Breezor the beaver. And as you can see, they used the exact same headpiece as the Yeti. He is holding a spanner because obviously beavers love to work. So you can use your beaver to fix up the tiger's mobile command if it gets broken by the hunters. So that's pretty cool. And as you can see, the face detailing in there on the Yeti headpiece is really, really cool. Nothing on the back. And he has got short green legs, and then the actual torso doesn't have anything on it either. But yeah, that is the beaver, a really, really cool minifigure. Next up we have Tazar, the uh, tiger. As you can see, his head piece is really cool with those really cool markings on. It's nice to get these tigers because we didn't get them any last year. Obviously we only got Tormac. Really cool leg detailing, and his torso detailing is exactly the same as uh, Trakar's, which I'll show you in a second. And then there is the back detailing. Then he doesn't have a double sided face, and that is his only face there. So, yeah, that is uh, Tazar. And next up is Tracker. Now, these tigers actually don't come with any weapons because they are mainly to like pilot the command and the claw bags, which I will show you in a second. As you can see, Tracker does have a harness with 5 km. The same torso detailing as Tazar, so I'm not going to take it off and show you. But there you can see his uh, leg detailing. And then uh, there is his face which is really cool he looks mad and then nothing on the back there except the back of his torso 
and again really cool print on the headpiece here so yeah those that is the the uh, tigers now onto the saber tooth tigers we'll start with sir fangar we've seen him last year only he does come with this really really cool saber tooth weapon it's like an upgrade to the regular saber tooth claw paw as i like to call it as you can see it's got these ice icy shooters on on it which looks really cool and it's just the regular saber tooth claw paw as i like to call it and then there you see all of his torsi detailing exactly the same as last year leg detailing there then there is his face detailing and his second face and then his back detailing so yeah that is sir fangar and then finally we get to the second saber tooth of the set and this is cybress as you can see she looks really really cool really nice like detailing really cool torso as you can see there her face has got a really cool print and she looks like a really mean saber tooth as you can see she's got that hair coming down there she looks really really cool only one sided face unfortunately and then you can see her back detailing and then as for her weapon she's got something that was similar to Eris's weapon in 2014 at the start of the year but this is a pretty cool weapon and yeah those are all your minifigures so now let's get on to the actual tigers mobile command and as you can see first of all we have this for the hunters and this is like a little catapult which you can launch these ice rocks at the Tigers Mobile Command and all you have to do is push down here and it just launches the rocks out and as you can see all you have to do is just slot them in there and yeah then you are good to go and yeah that is pretty much it and you get two extra ice rocks just to uh, as ammo and then we have got some ice on here and it's built on kind of snow I think it's a pretty cool little build that goes nice with the Sabretooths to help attack the Tiger Mobile Clan. Not that it's going to do much because this thing is huge and this thing is epic. And we'll start over here at the face. As you can see, we have the same printed piece that was on Tormac Shadow Blazer. As you can see we've got the eyes in there which look really cool. A nice slope, keeps it all together and we've got the black nose there. And then coming into the bottom where it's white and then this is all kind of like teeth and as you can see on Tazar here, the kind of white fur that tigers grow around their mouth as they age. And then we have uh, teeth here and you can open up the mouth as you can see. You've got these three teeth at the front, two small teeth at the bottom and you can open it all up which looks really really cool there. And then as you can see we've got the red tongue in there. And yeah, overall this head, I think they've done a really good job on it. It definitely looks like a tiger head. And yeah, that is the uh, head of the command. And then moving on from the head, as you can see, we've got these tracks here, which I think they've done a really good job on the treads. Because as you can see, they are black and grey. As you can see, we've got grey, black, grey, black. And it just carries on round all the way on the tread, just black and grey. And then as you can see, we have the orange kind of chainsaw kind of piece on the side, just like on Tormac Shadow Blazer. These treads run really nicely, and as you can see, we've got the wheel at the back here. They, they are a bit loose, as you can see. They kind of have to push it up for them to be tight on. But yeah, I think that they did a pretty good job on it. And then as you can see, deep in there, we have a claw bike. And you can uh, move down this ramp here, and there is a button in the back, which I'll show you in a bit minute and what you do is you just push it out and out comes one of these claw bikes and you get one on each side and you can see we've got these two claws here and in comparison to the lion chi temple claw bikes these are very 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 similar to them and uh, you can kind of see on the bottom the uh, you can kind of see on the bottom the uh, the kind of a uh, the similarity on them and then the big claws on the lion one and the kind of little ones on the tiger one and these are identical there's another one in here as well and yeah they are pretty cool and they do see one minifigure and you just sit them in there and they can drive because there is a little steering wheel and then to put it back in you just drive it in like so lift up the ramp and yeah you're good to go and then that is the button you press in the back and you can launch it out with the um, with the uh, ramp up but it goes better with the ramp down and yeah obviously same on the other side 
same with the tread as well and then uh, as you can see this is how we enter 5G power we have this 5G crystal here and you can kind of see these discs here and these at the back they are the disc shooters and to activate them you need to push this fire chi in the back here and when you push it in it just act activates this entire section as you can see the uh, back here flips up and you've got these uh, disc shooters which work really nicely you just shoot the discs out by pushing in these on the back and then we have these kind of new the new phoenix wings that they added and then we have some stickers on here with the Phoenix logo and we've got some claws. And overall this looks really really good in Fire Chief Power Mode. I think they did an excellent job on it. And then to uh, go back into normal mode you just pull this back like so. And then it is all armoured up and ready to go. And I accidentally showed a feature that I was just about to get to. So we'll just take the back down there off a sec. And as you can see we have these little wheels down here. That is because when you take off the back, which is kind of the actual mobile command part, these wheels help it to stay up, and so it, that can be like a detachable vehicle as well that you use, and uh, when this is in some uh, tough conditions and it needs to get away really fast, you can detach it, and then these little wheels will help it move across really, really fast and help it get to its locations even faster. And as you can see, that is what connects it to, because it uses a little mixer joint, and then, actually, I forgot to show you, that, but we do have space to see a minifigure behind and actually kind of in the head of the uh, mobile command, as you see there. And then just move this out of the way, and we should take a look at the actual part that is the kind of mobile command unit. As you can see, we've got this ladder on the back. That moves down, like so. Then you move the wheels underneath, like that. And then we have the two wheels that keep it upright. And then we uh, move this up the top, and that's kind of like your satellite dish. We've got these two guns on here, which is pretty cool. And then we've got these two compartments, which one of them has regular chi in, and the other has these little claws in, which were introduced in the 2012 Ninjago line. They are pretty cool to get, and there are also some nice weapons to give your tigers or whatever other figure in this set you want to, even the beaver if you wanted to. And then we have space in here. This could also be used to uh, protect everyone, so like gather the beavers and stuff up in here. And uh, yeah, and then you can see we've got a control panel in there. And then when you're done with this, all you have to do is bring this top down, move the ladder up, and then we've also got these two swords on here. Move the wheels up, and then this can drive again. And then it just connects onto the actual command with this little ball joint here. This the little mixer joint, I should say and they just connect snap in right there like so and there you have it that is pretty much it for the tigers mobile command a really epic set but also a pretty cool set uh, despite not having that many features this has got a lot to offer and it's definitely a good set that I would recommend for any Chima fan so now let's go into the ratings for the set. So now onto the ratings for the set. Overall, I'm going to give this set a 10. This set is an epic Chima set. Definitely recommend it for any Chima fan. You get some really awesome Tiger minifigures. A really cool, brand new and exclusive Sabertooth Tiger minifigure. And also it's really good that we get the Firewing Harness for Eris. And it's also a really cool Tiger vehicle. To say it's technically the only one if you don't count the, uh, the Shadow Blazer. And also the fact that this set is the only way to get a beaver just adds a ton of value to this set. And overall, I definitely recommend this set. It is a definitely a really cool set. And yeah, that is it for this review. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.